Welcome guys, I hope all of you will be fine. So this is question 3.37 of chapter 3 and the statement of this question is determine the values of C so that the following function represent joint probability distribution. Okay, so you have to keep in your mind that joint probability distribution basically takes two variables and that is basically the joint probability distribution of the two variables okay so uh, of the random variables x and y so you can see here that here we have been mentioning two variables which are capital x and capital y okay so on the basis of it we have to solve two parts of our question and the part a of our question is fx y is equal to cxy for x equal to 1 2 3 and y equal to 1 2 3 as well okay so let me solve the part a first okay this is the solution and part a is what that is f x y is equal to c x y for x equal to 1 2 3 and y equal to 1 2 3 and if this is a valid joint probability distribution we have to keep in our mind that all the values here when summed together it will give me what it will give me one okay so what will happen here this will be summed with respect to x and also will be summed with respect to y and when this function will be summed together it will give me one okay you have to keep in your mind if this is a valid joint distribution function and it as it is given so that is basically the joint distribution function which is valid okay so we have to use this condition here and all the values given for x and y are here these are 1 2 3 and 1 2 3 as well so we have to take each value of x and multiply it with the other value of y similarly then add them together because of the additions here and similarly for the other values of y as well so let me do it here as well and here uh, taking the c out of here what will we get because c is a constant what will we get so taking all values of x which are here one so let me use this one multiply it with the all values of y which are also here so one multiplied by one okay similarly plus one multiplied by two this is the value of x multiplied by the value of y plus because these are summed together here and also 1 multiplied by 3 this is for the first value which is 1 uh, for x and all the values of y similarly now taking the second value of x which is 2 and multiplying it with all the values of y which are 2 multiplied by 1 and then the second value 2 multiplied by 2 okay and the third that is 2 multiplied by okay and now the last one here is 3 so taking this 3 multiplied by 1 plus 3 multiplied by 2 plus 3 multiplied by 3 okay so here it is and it is here as well and that is equal to 1 okay now taking all these values as these have been added together so let me take them and multiply and add them so 1 1 is 1 this is 2 this is 3 okay now here this is plus 2 this is plus 4 okay this is plus 6 okay this is now 3 this is 6 and this is 9 and that is equal to 1 Okay. So now in order to find the value of C, let me add them together. So 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 10 is 18, 18 plus 3 is 21, 6, 27, uh, 21, 27 and 9 is 36. Okay. So now we have here this equal to 36. So 36 multiplied by C equal to 1 and taking this c equal to what this would be 1 over 36 and that is the value of the c here which we wanted to find out okay so that is the solution of part a of our question in which we have determined the value of c here okay so now moving towards part b of our question here we can see that this is basically a joint probability distribution function for all the values of x and y which are here and taking the same steps here this is for x 
this is for y and the function we have here is x minus y that must be equal to 1 in case of the joint probability distribution function. We can see here that all the values of x on y are given here. Now taking this first value of x and making it the combination with all the values of y and so on so forth because we have here all these values and then also adding adding them together as well okay so let us start here so c will be removed out of these operations because this is a constant and here if x is 1 so it will be sorry if x is minus 2 so it will be what minus 2 and the other one is minus so minus minus 2 will be what this will be plus 2 okay so here we will have it plus the second one is minus 2 and the this one is 3 so minus 2 and here we will have it minus 3 okay similarly now we have the second value here of x that is 0 so 0 plus 2 here we will have okay because minus minus is plus and also the 0 0 minus three okay similarly sorry that is also the addition similarly the last one here is two two minus minus two is two plus two okay and also here we will have two minus three we will have here okay so these are all the values which are we have and these are equal to one let them all together and get the values which we have so minus 2 plus 2 is 0 and the absolute value of it is also 0 because this absolute uh, is basically giving me the positive values of all or whatever we have inside of these absolute signs okay so now here minus 2 minus 3 this is uh, minus 5 which is basically 5 okay and this is now 2 Okay. this will be plus 3 okay this will be plus 4 and the last one here is will be plus 1 that is equal to 1 okay so now then adding them together 5 plus 5 is 10 and this 5 is 15 so 15 multiplied by c that is equal to 1 which will ultimately give me what the value of c will be equal to 1 over 15 okay so that is what that is the solution of part b of our question okay so that's it for today in which we have seen the progression of the joint probability distributions what are the joint probability distributions and how can we find out different values out of them if the condition of the joint probability distribution has to be satisfied so that's it for today see you soon